I okay. We're live. We're live. We're live. Those of you that don't know, this is Jan from Simply Jan Homestead. Hey, everybody. Hello, Andy. Hello, Lori. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lori. Mary. Hi, Andy. And Peggy. Everybody's here. Jan lives in Missouri. And she, this past year, also had a full mouth extraction. I denture, did. But hers are different. She has implants and I have the dentures. So we thought we'd talk to you about from the start, from the finish, the process Hi, Ron, that we've gone through. Yes, yes. Oh, let me add. What a process, super huh? chats, what's that? What a process, huh? Oh, it was. But any super chats we get tonight, we're going to donate to the Page family. Go yeah. for me, Andy. Andy from the Page family has bladder cancer that he's dealing with, and he has a whole bunch of chemo treatments ahead of him. Yeah. So we're going to do that tonight. We got your back, Andy. We got your brother. We're here. Yeah. So the process, how did you, what did you feel like when you had to go to the dentist the first time? Well, it started in Texas, and I went to a uh, place that does dent dental implants because I I originally wanted just I just wanted to implant my teeth and not have to deal with dentures and all that nonsense. I, I originally wanted just. Uh oh, I hear an echo. I I fixed it. Um. So. That was $42,000. And I said, oh, heck no, man. I can buy a house for that. Right. right. And so years went by and I went to DDS Denture Solutions. And I went in there and they uh, basically examined me and my teeth were all cracking and rotting and falling out and it was terrible um so they gave me a quote for thirteen thousand six hundred dollars wow and i tried to do it but we were trying to sell our house and and uh you know buy a new home yeah in, in missouri Right. And my credit wasn't good enough. So I just sort of, said, okay. And I let that go. And then I found out that there was a DDS in Springfield. And I went to them and I said, I have a quote from Texas. Now, mind you, that quote was two years old. Mm -hmm. And they honored it. Oh, and that's good. They actually even lowered it. Oh, and wow. So um, that's began my journey to, to doing this. I was petrified of getting all my teeth pulled. As rotten and crappy as they looked, I was petrified over it. And um, I just had such a great support system. And so much love from my friends. And they're like, Jan, you know, and I, I'd be on Marco with my group and I'd be crying. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I that. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm so scared because I'm going to have the grandma look when I take the dentures out. And, you know, I have this beautiful smile now. And all that's the thing. All my life, I had a gorgeous smile. I had the best teeth. I had a perfect bite. Everything was perfect, but then I got really sick and my teeth started degrading. Right. And when that happened, it went downhill really fast. So um, anyway, I I went into the Springfield office and, and uh, they were so fabulous and they were so kind. And um, that's where my journey began. Oh, well, that's, that's, it's scary. I know mine start. I had the perfect teeth also. The perfect 
not straight. I wore dent. I wore braces for about six years, mm. but I had healthy teeth. I had strong teeth, and eventually I had straight teeth. Well, I have fibromyalgia, and the medications that you have to take for that cause dry mouth. You know, yeah. and you need the saliva in your mouth to rinse around your teeth just to keep your teeth healthy. That's something that you need. And I went years, I'm talking 20 years on different medications. And my first tooth just broke in half about 15 years ago. And uh, it was in the back. And I'm like, uh, that that scared me at first because it's like, this is not my teeth. You know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. And then through the years, like I had receding gum line. So I had yes. this thing where they take the skin off the roof of your mouth and sew it all down through here. And yeah. I see it in my videos now. I actually show that and it just looks like, skin, you know, just extra skin. Yeah. So then my through the years, my teeth would just, just crumble. They were crumbling from the inside out. And I exactly. lost over here. I had a bridge over here. And then I got COVID. And as soon as I got COVID, my teeth started turning black. It yeah. was, I had a black tooth and that tooth it fell out right before I was going to have all of my teeth pulled. That tooth fell out. So I just, I mean, what can you do? So yeah, the process mm -hmm. for everybody is just a little different. It's and, different, but the same in so same. many ways. You know, I mean, I, I too, I got real sick and all, all my back teeth rotted. I mean, rotted like rubber. Right. And I was so poor at the time going through a divorce and uh, I was so poor. And I found this dentist that pulled all those teeth for $75. And I wow. had a hundred dollars. I had a hundred dollars. And I, I know I, I mean, I went back, back and forth like four or five times to them yeah. and uh, they were just such godly people and they blessed me so richly. Yeah. And then I, I live with no teeth in the back and I just had my front teeth. And so what happens is you don't have your back teeth and you're chewing on your front teeth. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah, it wears them down. So in yeah. my videos, which I kept them up because I want people to know, start to finish where I've come. Yeah, from. because it yeah. is what it, it is. It is what it is. And there's nothing we can change about it. No, no. And, and that doesn't change who I am. Yeah. It just changes that I made a life decision for health. And to me, my my decision to get denture implants, I did not want dentures because I had a partial and it was an epic failure. So I I knew I wanted implants. Right. And it was thirteen thousand six hundred dollars. And that was a big hunk of money for us. That was yes. huge. And so what I did is I went into um, some of the funding, you know, the finance programs, Lending Club. And there's another one I use. Hey, and wait, let me stop you. Mary, thank you so very much. Yes. Thank hey, you. Big Dreams. Yes. Thanks. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I went in there and, you know, Kevin and I talked about it and I said, there's no way we can afford this. Right. We're going to have to finance it. And let me warn you ahead of time, the finance charges are astronomical. They're like 25% wow. interest. Wow. It, it's high. Right. So Kevin and I just plugged away at it. We we did it. We did two finance programs. And on one of them, uh, we just recently paid off. So now That's we only cool. have one. But was it worth it? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I have the most amazing 
dental team to me you in the world. You, you know, do because your dog ate your dentures. My dog, I look, Ooh. I sent my dentures down on this tray, oh, this oh, tray God. right here. And Kevin said, Don't he told me, don't <laughs> ever put your dentures down. And it was late at night. I was tired. I went outside, walked right back in, and Brutus ate my $13,600 dentures. Yeah. And well, I he went didn't, in. He didn't completely. He well, didn't he, he messed them up. He good. cut a tooth out. And he, yeah, he messed them up pretty bad. Let's just not, let's be real. Right. And uh, so I went into the office and. I had already called and it was going to be 500 for one plate and 500 for another plate, which I had money on my account. But the last thing I wanted to do was have to add more when I was trying so hard to, you know, pay it off. Right. And so I'm in the dentist office and this, fabulous nurse she's she's just been fabulous and she went in and she she came out and, and i go well she i go did you were you able to fix my denture she goes oh no honey we just made you new ones and i go oh god i my heart dropped like a mountain yeah light. because that's expensive <laughs> And I'm like, well, how much is that going to cost? She, and she looked at me really confused. She goes, what do you mean? And I said, how much is it going to cost? She goes, well, we made the dentures, right? And I said, yeah. She goes, no, there's no charge. And mm -hmm. I bawled my eyes out. Yeah, I, I bawled my eyes out. Yeah. And I... And then I'm like, okay, I can't go through the lobby because people are going to wonder why is this lady crying? <laughs> right. Right. But, yeah. I mean, they've been phenomenal. I will highly recommend if you ever need denture work, um, DDS Dentures and Solutions was They're, phenomenal. They treated you very well. Very they well. have been exceptional. So, you don't use DDS, Michelle. You have... I have my own dentist in a surgeon yes. that I go to, and they're both reputable. My mom has dentures in a different way. She's got a bar and all of just things. And the de we have the same dentist, and the dentist worked with her until hers were perfect. So I knew he would take care of me. I knew I knew there wouldn't be a problem. And I went to a surgeon to have my teeth removed, a, a dental surgeon. Yes. And he's been in the area for a long time, and I know he's reputable. He also does implants. So if I want to go that route, I can. But I'm doing mine differently. You did yours all at one time. And I think if, yes. I, do, if I do mine, because these are just my temporary dentures, and they yes. were $800 just for the temporary set. 850 I think something like that so I'm going to wear these for another year and then decide whether I want to do the implants or the get it just a regular set of dentures my actual set I am if I do the implants I'm going to break it up because Rob and I have two dental programs you know we have his dental insurance and then I carry dental insurance on me through my retirement system so at the end of December, I'll be able to do a procedure on the insurance then and then turn around back to back in January and and do something else and have that covered. So I have I have that. So that's yeah. where I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to break it up in, in sessions and, and do what I can. If I have to do just the lower implants first, I'll do that. Yeah. You know, and then maybe the following year do the upper because, you know, I'm I'm OK with doing I would rather do that than that's just the way I'd rather do it. Well, and it gives your mouth time to heal. Roland, it happened a few months ago. Oh, uh, yeah, the dog in the teeth. When my dog ate my dentures. Yeah, yeah that was like in uh, the summer. 
Yeah, I, mean, I was you devastated. Know, you were crying and you were just crying of happiness because of they paid for it. Yeah, it was a very long. You had to wait in town all day for it, but it was worth I well did. worth the wait. Yes, and I will tell you that uh, this has been a year long process. So, oh, mm -hmm. the day I went in with my chewed up dentures, uh, well, I had another month for my implants. So, what they do is, if you saw in the thumbnail, those are my dentures. Yeah, and those are actually her dentures in the thumbnail. Yeah, they put the implants into your dentures, and then I have posts. I have a picture in my jaws, right. and I have four up here and two down here. And what you do is you just, yeah, you know, pop your dentures into those posts, and there's little rubber bands that keep them secure. And every every though I guess six months or so, I'll need to go in and get those rubber bands replaced because they eventually they'll wear down. But um, I so lost my train of thought there. I, I, um, I, I just lost it, the picture too. So to me, um, now Michelle and I have talked from day one about what's been going on. She's been with through, through me with this whole process. I've been with her through her whole process. And um, the thing I love about the denture implants is I can take them, I can just do this and pop my teeth out, brush them off. And, you know, like I do a peroxide in my denture cup and water and mm -hmm. then i use a baking soda and peroxide solution to clean them but i also have a denture cream but i'm i'm using that up and then i'll go into the uh using just the peroxide and and uh baking soda because i i want more of a natural um mm -hmm. solution so i bought a big honking bag of baking soda so you know and when you when we well how did well the our tooth color we were able to choose our own tooth color yes the long when you go in there to when you know you're getting dentures you go into the dentist or wherever you go and they let you pick out shades some of them are the whitening shades the bleach whitening, and they have the natural shade jan's teeth are the bleach white right now i have the california white right. And because my, my, I, what? well, I went that way because the next color down was so dingy. Yeah. And I'm like, if I'm going to pay $13,600, this thing's going to shine. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Right. right. I, I, mean, I want my smile to shine. Right. And so that's why I went with it. Now, mine oh, yeah. are the natural, the natural shade range. Mine are the whitest of the natural shade range. Yes. And when I get my actual set, whichever way I go, I'm going to be getting the, the white, the whiter shade. Yeah. I might not go as white as Jan, but I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this again. Well, you know? you'll be shocked. I went with the whitest and I, I did that because, um, Yes, it's like a new car. Hi, hey, Mark. Um, I did that because uh, I'm a smoker, mm -hmm. and I knew that I was going to have to do extra cleaning right. and get that. You still have nicotine. You still have yeah. buildup on your teeth, just yeah. like your normal teeth. Well, and I'm a and, coffee drinker, and I smoke also, and well, I I can tell that mine have faded. Yeah, they, yeah, I can, I can tell. Yeah, so so it's really important, and, and that leads us into health, denture health. Oh yeah. Let me tell <laughs> you that I take care of my mouth and my oh, teeth better than I ever ever have. I mean, I in the morning, I you know, I have an Oral B brush. And yeah. I, I spent forty five dollars. I've never spent forty five dollars. Well, you know, that's another thing. I was thinking after I had all my teeth pulled, I never have to brush my teeth again. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. I do it more now than I did when I had my teeth. Uh, not well, not more. That's but I so do it. true. Yeah. That is so true. 
And mm-hmm. then when you get the implants, you have these posts in your mouth and, you know, you have to make sure that there is no food particulate around those posts because it can cause infection. So you become very OCD with your, with yeah, your mouth. I have been, you yeah. know, then I have these picks that I carry around because food gets stuck in there. And you, and don't you know can't it. feel it. You can't feel it. You know, no, I could be walking it. around with every tooth full of bread and, you know, that would be embarrassing. Rob's yeah. my teeth checker. I'm like, check my teeth. Are they okay? <laughs> but I well, have some after, dental picks. Yes. And after I eat, I always pop my dentures out, rinse them off, and uh, I rinse my mouth off because even though these are seated very well, but you still are going to get food in there, y'all. And uh, Red, I, I think you were, you commented that your body might reject it. You'll be shocked. I mean, if you have the bone structure in your mouth, which I was really worried about that. I was really worried about it. But if you have, um, you have enough bone in your mouth, um, the metal that the posts that they put in there are titanium and they will, your body will not reject those. I was very, very concerned about that. And uh, when I went in and I had all my teeth extracted, I had them knock me out because yeah, they knocked me out too. I had a tooth that was up to the gum. And, yeah, I did you know, too. I didn't want to. I, I wasn't going to feel that, and I was quite loopy after surgery. It was pretty funny, but yeah, I remember that. That's yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I remember me, but yeah, they knocked me out too. And I think I don't, I don't remember. I have it right here. I had sixteen teeth pulled. That's all that I had left was sixteen teeth. You know, and it was one hundred fifty dollars. What's that? I don't remember how many I had. Well, I wouldn't if I didn't have this paper, but it was $150 in extraction other than the one that was surgical. That was $270 for them to go dig out in my mouth. Uh, so, yeah, that that's one of these in the front that my front, like next to the front tooth broke off. And I had to live like that for a month before I had all my teeth pulled. And I didn't even care. We yeah. did. I did buy that. They have a Billy Bob tooth on the Amazon. And it's like oh, yeah. things you, it, it melts and you can form it into a tooth. And I stuck yeah. it in my. I tried that. I tried that yeah. so many times. I know. Work. Then I got another. Michelle is. Carol uh, <coughs> Burnett and Robin. <laughs> Tim <Cole. laughs> so, so Rob went to get the mail one day and it was an Amazon package. And he's like, What did you order? And I said, I didn't order anything. I opened it up. There's no name, no nothing. And it was a gold grill for your teeth. Yeah, I remember that. My kids, my kids sent that to me. They thought of this. Oh my God. That. Yeah. So we have a video up of Rob and I forming this gold grill. <laughs> Yes, yes, I remember. Oh, I know. I have had um in my comments somebody asked me about the wax try-ins. You know, they said, How do you try on the wax try-ons if you still have your teeth? So I mean I have pictures of me just kind of holding in my mouth, but you can't try like when you go to get dentures, they take molds of your mouth with your teeth in them. Multiple. And then my dentist used, hey puppy, I'm getting photo bomb by Brutus. <laughs> my my um, dentist uses a lab, a local lab, and what they do is they send that mold away to that lab, uh, and then they break off all the teeth that are on there, and then they make your dentures out of your gums there. Oh, which then they after you have all your teeth pulled, your gums are going to shrink. And they're going to, yes. mine are still shrinking. Yes. You know, that's what I'm kind of glad mm-hmm. that I'm not doing anything because they're still shrinking. You know, and that's true. You, you do have uh, gum shrinkage and that's why they have you come back and do all the adjustments. I mean, most of my stuff was getting my bite right mm-hmm. and getting 
the adjustments to my gums. Now, my gums, fortunately, have not shrank a lot, but my bite, I kept, like, right here, I was, my, I would bite my cheek, and it was driving mm -hmm. me nuts, and, I, and, you know, so... Thank God they were able to figure it out. And well, that's something that I was really worried about, too, I because I didn't want jaw pain. I've had TMJ, and I don't want the jaw pain, and I was scared to death that the bite, bite wouldn't be right. Yeah. So I was I able to watch a few. They put, your, they put your bottom and top plate on this metal thing, and it closes, and they try to measure it, and they do a lot of measuring. Lots of right. measuring. I haven't, knock on wood, I'm not even saying nothing. Everything's good. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't want anything bad happening. So how yeah. did you feel knowing, like, the day of your extraction? How did you feel going into that appointment? I was so nervous. I was just incredibly nervous. And it was... It was life changing for me because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm only 64 and here I am going in and, you know, part of it was a dream come true. And part of it was like, I can't believe I'm here. Yeah. And um, it was. It was sort of it was really scary for me. Scary. And um, when I came out. And, you know, right away, they put your new dentures in. I yeah. mean, right away, your yeah. your mouth is stitched. Before you right even there. wake up, they have your dentures in. Yes. You wake and, up. Yeah, and you watch, I mean, girl, I'm telling you, for years I've watched these videos and these people getting their new teeth and just bawling their eyes out. I was that girl. I was like, I woke up and I was so ditzy and out of it. But I, all I saw was this beautiful smile that I haven't had for so many years. And I longed for, for so many years. And I knew right then and there that I had made the right decision. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was I was out of it for a couple of days. I mean, I gotta admit, I was out of it for a couple of days, yeah, and I was I, loopy and, But yeah, it, well, it, I, I know right. I was scared to death too, and it was it, because this is like a piece of your body that's going to be gone, you and know? you'll never get it back. No, and I'll never get it back. That's what I was thinking. Once those come out, then you're. It's like they're no good anyway. So. You know, you can't really, I couldn't eat with any, just the front teeth. Yeah. And they were breaking. So I was scared to death too. I, and I remember crying to Rob then like a couple of days later. That it, I don't even know where my teeth are. <laughs> so, yes. But yes. The only, I only had that one moment after because I haven't regretted anything. I have no, no, no regrets. None. Not one. No, no, none. And I, I like mine and I'm still yeah. going through it. You know, you're right. You're done. You're, you're good. You know, I am done. Oh, I started telling you that story. So when I went in and got my dentures done, I had another month mm -hmm. to, uh, before I was going to get my implants in and everything. And then when she told me, oh, we're, we just redid them. And when she brought mm -hmm. them in, I already had my posts in. Yeah. I'd already done all that. And uh, she goes, uh, she brings them back. And I look at my dentures and I'm like, it's got the holes in there, the posts and the bands and all. And she goes, yeah, we went ahead and did that for you. Aww. And I was like, oh, my God. So I started crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So they did it a month early for me and just blessed me. And uh it, it was amazing. It was just so amazing. But I, I guess one of my biggest fears was would my bones be strong enough to hold these posts and would, would they be healthy enough? And of course, they give you a special mouthwash, which I don't use because it's so 
chemically induced. I, I don't yeah. use it. Um, but um, they also have you take calcium, uh, caltrate, high calcium. And that's a win-win because you're, you need to maintain your, your jaw bone health and um, that helps you do that. So yeah, I, I, I take calcium. I take a vitamin cocktail, if you will. So not because yeah. of the illness, but that it just helps with that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Roland has a question. When you said your gum shrink, is that because of loss of bone density? For me, no. My your gums, well, once once you have all your teeth pulled, they're swollen, but and they'll they'll shrink down to rolling. You've seen my I sent you Rolling gets grossed out when I send him pictures of my teeth, so I do that on purpose. <laughs> I love anyway, it. No, I'm your gums them, just, so. Your gums, I think as you age, your gums also shrink too. They do. And I had a receding gum line that my dad has and my uncle has, and that might be hereditary. Wow. So my gum line was way down by my roots. Way It was way down there. That's exactly how my teeth were. Yeah. And I had three, four surgeries on it at a dental college. And he yeah. said, Jan, here's the truth. You're never going to get rid of it. It's hereditary yeah. and your gums are just going to keep rejecting it. And, yeah. um, but I, I do think it could be part of bone density, but um, for the most part, when you think about it, you know, think about if you get a cut, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you have that cut in your hand and what happens is that shrinks up. And it shrinks up because of the healing process. So, mm -hmm. um, and you know, honestly, your yeah. your skin becomes tighter around that area. Yeah. Like I, I cut my finger here on the side with a mm -hmm. mandolin or whatever you call that. Where you great. Oh yeah, Peggy onion. was scared. Yeah, I, I sliced it. Put it away. Yeah, yeah. Put it so, away. you know, I mean, it it. It's smaller now. I have a little indentation there, and that's what happens with your gums too. So yeah, they shrink. I know when I had my wax triangles, I was able to go look at my teeth and, and check them out and just see how they were. And I kept thinking, I think they're too small. And I even asked the dentist, are the teeth are these teeth are they too small? Because I was so used to looking at my receding gum line, I could see more of my tooth than I should have, you know? Yeah. So my tooth was like that long when it should have been only this long. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and okay. So, so we've gone through the initial, you know, Oh my God, I have to have all my teeth pulled. How much is it going to cost? And, before. you know, let's talk about the, shame because I was so shameful of my smile. I did YouTube though. I yeah. kept doing it, but then I start. Kevin goes, you, you're getting a lisp. I said, yeah, cause my teeth are cracking. And yeah. I, you know, Hey Diana. Hi Diana. Uh, and so Jordan's old Kentucky home. Did I say that? Yeah. So I don't know. I did. I said, hi, Debbie. Okay. That's Debbie. And so Diana at Move okay. North Homestead has been a backbone for me. And uh, she's gone through my, I'm scared to death. Yeah. I'm crying my eyes out. I don't know what to do. What do y'all think I should do? And I'm miserable. I want to die. You know, I just right. feel ashamed of my smile and what it's become and she has been a backbone she has been that's a backbone. good that's yeah good that you have so that. i want to say this you are not defined by your smile i know mm -hmm. a lot of youtubers won't show their face because yeah. they're ashamed i i showed my face because I knew eventually 
I was going to do this. If it was 10 years down the road, which, oh God, I can't imagine doing it at 74. But if, you know, whatever it was, uh, please don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. You are beautifully and wonderfully made by the hands right. of God. And, and it doesn't matter what your smile. I had to do this for my health because my health was degrading. And when your teeth aren't helping or healthy, your body isn't healthy. So mm -hmm. mine was not for vanity in any sense of the word. It, that was like not even in my brain. Yeah. You know, uh, some of those people, the young YouTubers go and have all their teeth grinded down and, and then they get those fake teeth over. What are the, what word am I looking for? The... Veneers? veneers veneers yeah oh, just to do it there's nothing wrong with their teeth they just want a nice bright white smile so they go and do that process and it's and like, then all those teeth rot yeah because yeah. they only work so long so yeah yeah and then they yeah. have to get it redone and it costs a lot of money to do that and it's like don't don't waste your money doing that mm -hmm. if you have yeah. healthy teeth be grateful Exactly, exactly. Um, it to me, it's just I feel so incredibly blessed that a we were able to do it, yeah, and b it has really changed my life in so many ways, you know, so many positive ways. Well, you can eat ice cream now and not hit the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Because, oh, my God, when I ate ice cream, it hit my nerve and I'd lose it. Yes. Yeah, I'd lose it. All right, yeah. let's talk about the pain after the extraction because it does hurt. It does hurt. And around day three, it really hurt. And it's just make it through. My advice to anybody would be, Tomorrow's a new day. Get through today with ice or do whatever you have to do because tomorrow's a new day. And let's see, it's November and I had my teeth pulled June 1st. I can eat peanuts now and I'm just really liking because before I couldn't because I was so afraid my teeth were so fragile. I was very careful at what I ate. You know, yes. I can eat peanuts now. So if you get through that pain, because I know mine was really bad and the pain, I had pain meds here and it, it was bad. What about yeah. you? How did you handle that? I went through about three days as well. I used ibuprofen They gave, and they gave me pain medicine, but I'm, I'm highly allergic to some pain medicine. So. Yeah. Um, I basically did ibuprofen and, and, uh, pretty much about the fourth day I was fine. Now on my dentures, I had what they call a soft liner and you have to cut it, and, you know, okay. wet it and put it in your plate. Kind of like and that C-bon thing. It was a C-bon. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It was a C-bon and. Uh, what a glorious day it was when I went and I actually got my saw. Uh, the reline? No, my soft, uh, what's it called? What were we just saying? I think the, uh, no, the c bon, a soft liner. So, so what okay. they do is they put like this, um, almost a rubber compound in your dentures. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, it was Ow. so wonderful. <laughs> Brutus just jumped out, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know it. I, I was curious. I'm like, how, what is, I don't even know what, explain what a soft reline is because I had no idea when I went in there, what was going to happen. So a soft liner, when you first get your dentures, um, now I can only speak to the implants. I would imagine it's the same with dentures, but they give you the C bond, you cut it out, you wet it and you put it in there. And that keeps the, 
hard plastic from hitting your gum. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, which are loaded like with stitches. And uh, then after your stitches heal, you go back in and they give you the soft liner, which is like a more rubbery, I can affiliate it to a more rubbery compound that they actually put in your dentures yeah, and you don't one. remove it. You don't, I mean, it's in there yeah, yeah. and it's heaven on earth. Yeah. It's uh, it's wonderful. Um, try, uh, I'm reading Peggy's. Is, yeah, I see that. Yeah. No, he's got beautiful teeth. He's, he's got the healthiest teeth I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a basically a rubbery line. It hasn't, mine so had, it, mine tasted like something that I could remember smelling when my brother did models with my dad or something. Yeah. That's, I couldn't point, pinpoint it for anything, but it's like, that's what it tasted like. Exactly. And it, it does go away in a couple of days, you yeah. know, well, probably about three to five days, the yeah. smell go, and taste goes away once you start eating and stuff. Yeah. But I was like, oh, God. <laughs> so when I actually got my implants into my dentures, I was so happy because I wasn't going to have to. Hey, I wasn't going to have to deal with, uh, you know, having that stuff put in there again. So right. Right. That was a wonderful thing. Well, but, I use that cushion grip now, and it's the same thing. But it only lasts like three or four days. I just yeah. wore mine for two weeks. We'll see. But yeah. it, it's the same thing and it doesn't taste nearly as bad as the soft reline. So I would I would personally say, uh, especially with your fibromyalgia, that the implants are the way for you to go. So you're not having to put that chemical in your body. That's, and that's that true. was one of the reasons I went with implants because yeah. I did not want to. I remember my mom and dad always having to use that denture stuff and the glue. And I yeah. thought, oh, that's disgusting. And I just could not bring myself to do it. So it was advantageous for me to get the implants so I would never have to use it paste it. I, it just grossed me out. The thought of having to do that grossed yeah. me out. And, uh, and then that would have really made me feel old. I don't I mean, I don't know why I, I just, <laughs> that's, that's how funny. I thought about it. And, and all the, the chemicals in it, I think a healthier alternative for you, Michelle, is to go ahead and get your post put in and do the implants. And I'm thinking and I might go that route because the clothes that touch things that touch my skin will trigger my fibromyalgia. Since the weather started getting cold, I've had two days so far that my teeth have just, I've had to take them out because they're making me hurt. They're just, it, I can't explain it, but it's yeah. like, I just had to get them out and go lay down. So the yeah. post, and I've had titanium. I have neck, I have. So you know your body won't reject it. Yeah, I'll be okay with that. No now, product, Peggy. No product. I, yeah. So I recently reacted to a video. Remember the video about the lady getting the denture implants? Can you have an input on that? Well, I sort of lost my cookies over it. <laughs> I said I sent the video to her, and I'm like, you have to watch this. Yeah, I use words I don't normally use. Yeah. Uh, it, it really infuriated me because, A, she waited all these years. She I had know. a total um, case against her dentist and then she yeah. goes on the news and woe is me and now what we're talking about is a lady went in and had implants done and the position of her implants is something that i've never seen before so I my mean, implants are here and here hers were here and they were off are, center every kind of what i don't know why they everything were was wrong and they were loose 
Mm-hmm. So she, she had a slicer for a day. Yeah, you should. I can't take my teeth. I these are like real teeth. Yeah. I can't. I can't move them. I, there ain't no way. I, they're stuck like Chuck. And you also have a better taste sensation than I do because you don't have. I have a palate, and you have your palate. So. You don't. Now, when they do your implant, when they do your post and your implants into your dentures, they cut that palate out. But for almost a year, I had it. And you don't taste squat. You don't. I mean, it's like you're just eating to survive. But when you get that cut out uh, up in your your roof of your mouth is where you you get your fla- a lot of your flavor from. And the nurse told me, she goes, oh, we're going to cut that out. And I go, you are? And she goes, yeah, you'll taste food again. I go, I am. Oh, my God. How oh, cool. So, yeah, people, that's another thing people don't realize, you know. So, uh, there's, to me, um, there are so many benefits to doing the implants and, like I said, Michelle, you your body already knows it doesn't reject titanium. And um, do you have the picture of my dentures that I, I said? You? Could you put these guys outside? Because they're driving me nuts, Kevin. Go outside. Yeah. Rob, you want to pay attention? Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I know I have them. My it's back beat really. Okay, I'll be right back. Right back. Okay. Okay. So anyway, it's just me now. Backbeat rhythm. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the stream. And the other one I can't pronounce. And welcome. Welcome. I have pictures of Jan's implants. Or her her posts, how they are. That's that's what I'm looking for. I have them. I found them. Okay. There's Jan. Yep, there. There's Jan. So we'll show you again when she comes back. But do you see where the implants are? Hers are spaced out evenly. Well, the video or the TV show that I reacted to that we're talking about. Theirs were just off center. They were so off center. And Jan can't move her teeth. Whereas like with my dentures, I can, they have a slight move. I mean, they're in there good, secure, but I'm still always going to have it. All right. I found it. A little okay. move. Wait, yeah. Yeah. So that's my top denture. Closest. The one on the bottom is your top denture? And the bottom I have two. I have four posts up top and two on bottom. Okay. And, there. you know, I could have went four and four, but it was going to be like 20,000 or 16 yeah. or something. I don't know, something ridiculous. Yeah. And, and I'll be honest with you, you always want to have more posts on top because gravity doesn't hold. So if you only have two posts on top, your teeth are going to, they're going to be wonky. So that's the most important is to have your four posts on top. So it holds because there's nothing, you know, it's. Yeah. That's what my surgeon also up. said that four on the top, two on the bottom is what two he on the bottom. Your bottom. Yeah. They're, they're just resting on your jaw. Yeah. Your top has nothing to hold them. And, um, uh, Mary has a question. So when you had, so when you had your post, they kept the roof of them for a year. Then they took the, out the roof. She's talking about the palette. The top yes, palette. Mary. Yes. Uh, will you show that picture again, Michelle? Yeah. Hold on, Mary. And I'm going to show you something to look at. Okay. So look at, you see how it's all rounded where the four posts are or the four implants are. That used to have a big brown palette. So it looked like, you know, the roof of your mouth. Now, like, yeah, they've cut that out. So it lines, you know, it's lined up with your natural mouth. And um, I only have a, like, right, 
right behind my teeth. I only have a piece of material there. So uh, they they take all that out. They take all that out. That yes. Home. See that? That That's big palette? Plate. That big round spot? Well, they're going to, if Michelle gets implants, when they make her real dentures, all that eventually will be cut up. But in the meantime, you have all that in there. Yeah. And um, hey, Lena at Red Road. Uh, they won't let me have dentures, said the roof of my mouth is too high. Then you need to find a different dent a dentist, Lena. That's bull. Yeah. Uh, no. If, yeah. You, if you have a good dentist, they can do anything anything and again i'm i just praise dds dentures and solutions yeah. uh, their pricing was phenomenal and both in texas and missouri the doctors were so thorough and so wonderful and caring and kind the whole staff i i just uh, I you love know, and it's it's your body. Go get two or three opinions and find out what yeah. different dentists would do and how what their plan is and their pricing and, and referrals. Uh, well, yeah. Don't yeah. be afraid to ask your dentist for referrals. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can you can go on uh, what's that site um, and see referrals, but. Ask them for private, personal referrals. And um, I did. I did. Because mm -hmm. I knew once this got done, there was no turning back. And if they screwed up, right, I was going to be the one to suffer. Right. So, uh, well, if you have a friend that has dentures or anything, find out. Ask them questions also. Or yeah, yeah. email is, I left the link for all of Jan, Jan, Chan, or Jan's channel in my description. You can go there and email Jan or ask her any questions or oh, email yeah. me. You know, I'll, we'll be glad, both of, both of us are glad to talk to you. Yeah, do your right back beat rhythm. Do your research. Right. Do your research. And uh michelle has been blessed with a wonderful dentist and he is so thorough because mm -hmm. i have grilled her from a to z about her dentist because yeah. you know i went through this before she did and we go we've gone back and forth and i'm like you know make sure this is happening make sure this is happening and and i watch videos i didn't have anyone i could go to well, now my sister-in-law has done it. Michelle's going through it. And uh, everyone I know has been so happy. But, you know, remember, A, it's your health. B, mm -hmm. it's, your, it's your mouth. And, and it's your money. You know, a lot of people, they don't, they, you know, they're like, oh, we don't care what your smile looks like. And we don't care. But when you're suffering with a bad job, um, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, I, I can keep mine in at night, Mary. I, I very well could, but I feel like taking them out and soaking them in at night is probably healthier than keeping them in. It's my, you, you totally can wear your my implants you can wear those all night and then take them out in the morning and brush them you could do that and even if you take them out i was worried if i didn't wear them that my gums would keep shrinking but that's not true that's not the case but i have yet to sleep in my with my teeth in because you know i have men all day and i'm yeah. like that's pretty cool. I can just pop my and teeth. You, you know that feeling when you get home? It's like, oh, I got to get my bra off. I can't stand this. Oh, yeah. it's my teeth. It's like, oh, I got to get my yeah. teeth out. I can't stand oh, this anymore. So by the end of the night, I'm ready. I'm ready. 
And, yeah. you know, I can eat a Pop-Tart without my teeth in. I can just kind of, you know, I can't eat, yep. you know, peanuts it, or anything, but. That's true, backbeat rhythm. It does give your mouth a rest. And, yeah. you know, I mean, one of these days, just for grins and giggles, I'm going to leave. My, I might do it tonight. I might do it tonight and just leave my teeth in. But I keep thinking about, you know, food. I, I mean, I'll brush them and do all the things. Yeah, and then put them back, back in. in. But it will be so weird waking up with my teeth in. <laughs> yeah. Then in the morning. Oh, yeah. Now, I know uh, Roland, Roland knows that feeling about taking off his bra. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Here's something that is just recently sort of happening with me. Because... From like after two weeks after my extractions, I always take them out when I go to bed. Now I'm noticing because once you don't have any teeth, your jaw, it doesn't shut all the way. I mean, I can't personally, I can't close my mouth so my gums touch. You know what no. I mean? I, I can't do that. It no. doesn't work that way because you have to have teeth in there. My jaws are getting sore when I leave my teeth out at night just because my, I don't know what to do with my jaw. Well, I sleep with my mouth open a lot more now. I'm like, uh. <laughs> but I, the other day, uh, uh, two mornings ago, I woke up and I was like, you know, trying to close my, my mouth and see where my jaw hit and it was like a monkey like my front bottom jaw was it felt like it was way out here and my top jaw was way over here and i could not make them come together I, for the life of me i could not do it and i'm like that is the most bizarre thing in the world to me well, and I, I know though some people that haven't worn their dentures for a long time, their gums harden up. I'm talking 20 years or so. And they you they chew with their, I don't know how they do it, but. I don't know. Well, the spoon lady, she, have you ever watched her? No. She, 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 oh my God, she's phenomenal. She's a spoon for lady. High. And she, uh, Shaky, you are getting old. Shaky, you're, you're old. old. Shaky, <laughs> older but isn't it a riveting conversation? I mean, yeah, you would have never known. My older this. brother, I call him. He's much older than me, though. He is he's way old. old. Yeah. <laughs> much. But you, you, she eats, and I'm like, how do you do that? Because even before I had my posts put in, I couldn't connect. But now, when I had teeth. I could connect. Yeah. It, it's the most bizarre thing in the world. I don't know why, yeah. how, what, when, where. Yeah. I don't know how it happens. Yes, Shaky I'll knows. I'll have to go see you. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Oh, my God. She's phenomenal. She is the okay. most beautiful soul in the world. And uh, hi, Fugo Prepper. How are you? If anybody doesn't know, life with Rob in the comments is the other half of me. The Rob, yeah, the yeah Rob, he's uh, poor Rob, poor, poor Rob. Rob. He's actually poor Rob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the spoons, lady Diana. Have to go see. Just I know I can do this. I can. I when my all my teeth are out, I can touch my tongue to my nose. You can. Oh, I've never tried that. I should try it. <laughs> I, I, I can, you can do it because your teeth aren't in the way. And I'm like, I sent so many pictures. It might have been Roland. <laughs> the things you do to entertain hey, Papa yourself. Rock. Hi, Papa Rock. How are you? Hey, Papa Rock. Well, Hello. Papa Rock, he's the one I was talking about. He can chew. He like after a while, your gums harden up, and you can use them like teeth, and they, you know, yeah, but mine don't connect. Teeth. To do it, I like don't know. They, mine don't either. No, mine don't. Can, maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's a learned thing. Papa Rock's just more special than us. <laughs> more special. I know. I'm trying to. Mm, no, you have to have your teeth out. I've never been yeah. able to touch my nose. Talk to my nose. <laughs> listen. I probably have a picture, but actually, you know what? I did it in the video. I know. I. I Listen, this is real life with Michelle and Rob. So you get real life here. So I have, I mean, if 
if you're new here and want to go back, I, I have a denture playlist and I'll show it all to you from day one, all of my stitches, all everything, everything, you know, because when I was going through this process before I was going to go through it, I looked for videos. There's some out there, but the questions that I had, I didn't find very many of those. And you know, me personally, I'm okay with going on. I, I mean, you'll see me in videos without my teeth and trying to talk because that's another. But you look part. pretty without your teeth. I look like an old man. I look like my no, grandma. I've seen you without your teeth. No, you don't. You look good. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, one of the few that have seen me without my teeth. <laughs> right. I'm one of the lucky ones. But um, I, I'll. I talk about all, all things that dentures and I have other videos planned coming up now. And then in the following year, I'm going to go a different route, but yeah, I, I don't mind. Whereas Jan, Jan has a good channel. She has a homesteading channel and she, she is that route, you know, and I still remember your first video or your video okay. when you showed us your teeth. Oh, I know. Where have I been? <laughs> yeah. You were like sitting like this, and you're like, oh, yeah. oh, I, I did something. I did and something. I could barely talk because they were my mm -hmm. temporary dentures. And yeah. I, you, that's the other thing, right, Michelle? You have to learn to breathe, talk all over again. Yes. And people people were saying that on videos I watched, mm -hmm. and I'm like, ah, whatever. You know, yeah, BS. I, know. I won't have a no. problem. It's so true because you can't say your S's. You can't say oh, your on. hello. Yeah, it, it, it's just uh it, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. You there's words you take for granted, and so there's lessons that you have to learn to speak again. And breathe again because now everything's redirected. Yeah. Like we we so take for granted <laughs> our teeth. Huh? Yeah. The Papa Rock said the fun of sneezing is oh, don't. listen, I did that. <laughs> I talked or something probably two weeks in when you can't wear the denture paste or anything and my teeth just came out. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that happened to me. Yeah, too. that just happened. Yeah. And I, I have a whistle now sometimes and you can hear it in my videos sometimes. Right here, the tip of my tongue will hit right here and I'll just whistle. Yeah. So, that'll yeah. leave. But I had to learn. I, I, this was the thing for me. You're all going to laugh about this. I have a mean, wicked whistle. And I, you know, I do it with my fingers, but I've yeah. always done it who, or this way, right? Well, yeah. I can't do it that way. Mm -mm. Okay, now nah, it's not going to let me do it. But I can do it this way with these two fingers. I'm not going to do it. I've got a really loud whistle. Oh, I can't wait. And I, I was so happy. When I finally figured out which fingers to use now to whistle, because I should try I, to do that. Oh yeah, because if you can't whistle, I mean, I got to mm -hmm. whistle for these two dogs. They they always go down the road and create havoc, and so yeah, whistling was vital to me because I'm a whistler. You know, I can't yeah. go. I can't do that anymore. I can't. Yeah. Well, and something else well, was the gagging. The gagging, the first couple days getting used to it, Rob just would just bust out laughing <laughs> because I'm like talking and then like, <laughs> you know, he's in there laughing at me now. I, I had to pull my teeth laughing. out to hack up, <laughs> you yeah. know, because yeah, you hack up. Them out and it's like when you're done gagging, you put them back in. But yes. I found that sucking on a lifesaver helps. <laughs> or something yeah. like that, because if if you feel like you're going to start gagging, and you just I just suck on a lifesaver. Oh and yeah, but you get used to that. Yeah, when I had my palate in, it was the worst because you know you have a lot of phlegm that for some I don't know for some reason comes up and um, it would 
like it stuck in that palette. And I'm like, oh, screw that. I <laughs> pulled my teeth out so I just saw I could spit. And uh, yeah, you have a lot of that going on. Hi, oh, Melanie, she asked, hi, Michelle, how do you eat with just one denture and half real bottom teeth? I don't have any real bottom teeth. Mine are both dentures. These are bottom. what? Bottom. Yeah, the top and the bottom are my dentures. not my permanents. They're temporaries, dentures. They're yeah, I have no teeth. Yeah. Yeah, we're all toothless. <laughs> yeah. Toothless community. Oh. But yeah, it's just a learning curve and it is what it is. And these days it it's you're not really looked down on for having dentures or made to feel old or I don't think, do you? The times have changed from when our grandparents had them. Yeah, I I agree. I think the stigmatism of it uh, has really gone away. And I have friends who are in their 20s that I never, ever knew had dentures. And it was years later, I found out they had dentures and I'm like, shut the front door. I cannot believe you've had dentures. Yeah. And I have friends now that have dentures and they're so ashamed to talk about it. And I'm like, why, why are you ashamed? Yeah. Why, why are, don't be ashamed because that's just life, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's, you know, I can affiliate mine with sickness and, and bad eating habits and yes. total mm -hmm. poor health, total poor health. That's why I lost my teeth over the years. And uh, yeah, it could have been prevented. It could have been, but you do what you know when you know. Right. And, uh, you know, for the past 10 years, Kevin and I have eaten mm -hmm. such a pure, healthy diet. Uh, the, it's far and few between I cook pro processed food. Every now and then, I own it. I make a box of mac and cheese. I, you know, you I made the other night. <laughs> yes, exactly. I make rice out of the box. Yes. I, you know, I do those things. But... It's not every night like we used to. Everything we used to eat was processed. And so it's so important that, you know, like I, I've always steamed my vegetables. I don't mm -hmm. boil them. I don't cook them down. You know, I, I steam my vegetables to keep all the nutrients in. And um, that's that's what I do, you know. So, uh I just think that it's important to watch your diet because what you eat will reflect on your dentures, on your teeth. It will totally have an impact on that. So, you know, pay mind to that is all I'm saying. Pay yeah. mind to that. So I've okay. read, uh, Lena, I knew you weren't a prisoner. <laughs> so, Melanie. My dentist told me, he said, you are, will hate your bottom denture. I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to absolutely hate it. So I went into this just with that expect expectation. Other than that, I didn't have any because I didn't know. I don't hate my bottom denture. I don't hate it now at all because I've learned what to use that works for me to keep it secure. Yeah. Once you figure that out for you, like I use a, a paste and a powder together. I have a video on that and it works for me and I don't have a problem. But I do have a funny story about my bottom denture. Rob just left. So he just went out the house. We were at the Olive Garden and something got underneath there and I needed to <laughs> rinse them out. So I kind of pried it out. This was like nine o'clock at night. And no, we're not that late, but it was late. So I took my bottom denture out 
and I'm holding it out the car window as Rob is driving down oh, the road God. with a bottle of water. I mean, like we're going in front of the mall. So it was in front of stores and there were people and everything. And he's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, who cares? There's junk in my house. He's like, don't drop them. I know, right? Yeah, just don't drop them. But oh, yeah. God. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, you'll learn. That's funny, Pennsylvania proper. That's awesome. I, I, uh, I've never had anyone ask me if these are my real teeth, but um, I'm almost tempted to say yes. I've taken good care of my teeth. <laughs> yeah, the mobile rinse. That's what it was, a mobile rinse. You know, if somebody just says, are those your teeth? You just say, yes, they are. You paid for them. They're yours. That's what someone just. Yeah, they're mine. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, I had a comment a um, couple of videos back where somebody had a full mouth extraction, okay. had a several, I mean, like more than I did teeth pulled, no stitches, no nothing, no, and I don't think they did immediate dentures in, they had to go back for that, but I can't, I can't imagine that. I think I had 22 teeth pulled. But I, I can't be positive. Good night, Papa but, Rock. Thank you for coming. Good night, sweetheart. Yeah, I think it was 22 I had in my mouth. But let me just say that most of them were up to my gum. Mm -hmm. Not most of them. A couple of them were up to my gum. So yeah. that's why I got knocked out. Yeah. yeah. So, Rob, I just oh, told thank you the story God. about me rinsing out my bottom denture in front of Dick's in front of, in front of Dick's sports because yeah. Yeah. I do it at like when we're at a restaurant, uh, because I need to get a tighter band on my bottom plate. Mm -hmm. And I just I've had too much going on. And so um I need to get a little just the next step up tighter band because when I eat sometimes I'll, I'll get you know food up under there yeah and I'm very OCD about my mouth now it's amazing how much it's changed yeah. me but yeah. uh I'll I'll be in the restaurant and I'll just take napkin and you know pop them yeah. out wipe them off, put them back in. No one ever knows. You know, I do it just like that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah nobody knows. And it's like, it is what it is, you know? And yeah. I'm not, neither one of us are ashamed or embarrassed or no. anything like that. And that's my thing is, you know, who cares? Who cares? Mm -hmm. I mean, look, if I couldn't have got these done, I'd still be doing my YouTube channel with my broken crack crappy Think dragon. Hi. Yeah. And because I'm not defined by my smile or my, my teeth, I'm not defined by it. And, um, uh, I, I love me. I love me. And, uh, you know, I, I praise God that, he's he opened the door for this to happen for me yeah. and for me to be able to get these because let's face it it changed my life it yeah. absolutely changed my life yeah. and um yeah is it better than having my crack chip rotten teeth <laughs> yeah yeah it is and, uh, you know, so I just, I, I praise God for the opportunity to have these and my husband who is so gracious to pay for these. <laughs> I'm retired. You know, Absolutely. With, I'm retired too. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. my money goes through, I pay mortgage. All okay. Kevin's money goes through all my funds. <laughs> and other. Yeah. What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. And exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're both very lucky. We have caring husbands that, that support They're the best. our decisions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and Rob said the implants, he's like, it's oh, it's up to you. If you want them, we'll buy them. If you don't want them, oh, you yeah. know, you make the decision. It's your mouth. Yeah. It's your health. It's your life. Yeah. Because if you the alternative is if i had kept my mouth like it was 
I would have become very sick and so would you have. Yes. Oh, I was and, getting sick. I was sick all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, shaky, mine were $13,600. Yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. The implants are $2,000 an implant here. $2,000 an implant. And Six. then there's the making of the teeth and the, all, all of that. Kind of molds after molds after molds. And Hi, Ariella. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have a, I know it's $2,000 an implant and Next year, I'll go in and get the exact totals and numbers. And when I decide exactly which route I'm going to go. Pennsylvania Prepper, your insurance covered them 100%. That is very good. That's amazing. See, I didn't have insurance. I didn't yeah. have I got my, when I started this, my husband had not, had his insurance or his company yet it was afterwards so everything was out of pocket but yeah. oh my goodness that's awesome that's very good that's why i might do a little bit this year some and then like the bottom this year and the top next year exactly yeah because both of our insurances pay a portion of it that's the way to do it. Uh, Pennsylvania prepper yeah, it was thirteen thousand six hundred dollars from start to finish, and that includes extractions and molds and X-rays mm -hmm. and more molds. And then uh, my dog ate my dentures, you know, yeah. so they, they they paid for that. And uh, like my dog ate my homework, only he yeah. ate my dentures. <laughs> One of my subscribers that happened to her too. She had oh. just had all of her teeth pulled and she was, I think, not even two weeks in and she was sleeping at night and, and one of her top or lower, one of them came out and the dog got it. Oh, God. Yeah, they like that. They like them. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, is um, I finance mine mm -hmm. and let's see, I, I. My husband and I had policies that paid 50%. Mine had the first 50. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I Personally, for me, I did not want to have to use the glues and paste. That was that was what was a deal breaker for me. Right. Um, because I saw what my mom and dad went through. I, I was, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I was uh, the baby of the family, so I got to see all the all the good stuff, stuff. they went through. Yeah, and um, to me, it wasn't it just, it wasn't worth it, you know. And and uh, it was not much less for. Well, I could have got okay. Here's the deal: if I just got dentures. It would have been about four thousand dollars just dentures, and right. then I use all the glues and paste and deal with all that, which I am honestly I've never that's never been in my my plan. I right. I've always wanted either implants or denture implants, and when I couldn't get implants because it was a second mortgage. Uh, I started looking into denture implants and watching YouTube. I mean, I've watched, watched them for years for probably about three years, two, three years. And, um, you know, I saw what an easy transition it was to do it. And then I could take them in and out still. Um, and be able to survive once I got them, that was the main right. thing. Have money left over to pay my bills. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that is nice. And when you go into your dentist, have them break everything down. I know, like when I went into the surgeon to have my teeth pulled, and it's the dental surgeon, I don't know what, but he gave me a whole breakdown of what each thing costs. Everything. Yeah. Well, I did too. I got that too. Yeah. And and if you don't get it, demand it. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Hey, do Kevin. That. My son was in Tennessee. A root canal was 1500. I know that's yeah. right. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I spoke with the dental tech. She tried to tell me that there was no way I only paid 300. Good for you. Yeah. I, I've never had a root canal. Uh, because I just think they're BS. And wow. uh, yeah, I've never had a root canal. I'm like, just listen, I would go into the dentist because I would have massive tooth pain. I can't tell you how many root canals I've had in my mouth, you know, just trying to save a tooth and it would save it for a couple of years and then it would eventually go anyway. Yeah. And if I could have done what I did now, 10 years ago, I would do it all over again. Yeah. I would have done, instead of putting all the money into repairing my teeth, I would have just 10 years ago said, pull them all and let's just go. We'll just go with it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Um, that's the thing. Like 10 Thank years you, ago, Kevin. like when, okay. I was going to get laser surgery on my eyes and my, my eye doctor told me, no, this was in the seventies. He said, no, um, you're not. Mm -hmm. It's not proven yet you want things to be proven between 10 and 20 years. If it's proven after that, go for it. And so I've always carried that thought, you know, yeah. it's the yeah. same with everything. And when, when they first came out with all the dental implants and all, you know, well, God, if I had done it when it first began, I could have got it for $20,000, you right. know, but what would the ramifications be? You know, right. technology right. has come so far and I'm really happy that I waited to do this because, you know, one, once you mess with your eyes, I mean, and now yeah, that was the best advice I ever got. I'm so right. glad I didn't do it because once you get laser surgery, you have to go get it again after so many years oh, and it might that. not work. Yeah. It might not work and you may lose your eyesight. So I'm so grateful for his wisdom. Yeah. And then the same thing with your mouth, you know, now, well, I mean, they leaps and bounds. Things yeah, have changed, are. you know? So to have this, done at this point in my life i'm 64 i'm figuring ah, i got a good 10 years i'm gonna live till like i'm 150 oh god okay, no. <laughs> okay. i don't want to live that long but anyway uh you know i know that um i did the right thing at the right time you know right. and i'm i'm so right. happy i'm so so happy about it yeah. And I, I love anybody it. now, because so, we're so far advanced. I mean, if, if you're in your thirties and you're, you have the next 10 years to look forward to paying dental bills just to fix your teeth, look into dentures, do it, just look into yeah. doing that and save, put, put that money into your dentures instead of repairing your teeth, because eventually you may lose them anyway if you went the route that happened with both of our teeth you know they just crumble and break and yeah yeah and some are hereditary some are genetic is that the word uh yeah the Genetics and some are just because you eat a crappy diet you know they yeah. do, and, and your diet has everything to do with your teeth your bones, your health. We we should know this by now, right? Right. So, uh, yes, Ariella, that is so true about eye surgery. It lasts about between um, 10 and 15 years, and then you have to, generally, you have to go. I mean, some people can go way longer, but it just depends what your body makeup is. So Yeah, I didn't um, know that either. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I went to do it, and I was like, "No, it's just something." Told me, "Nope, don't do it, don't do yeah. it." So I wear glasses. You know? Surgery because that deals with your eyesight. Oh, you lose. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
I, when I was 18 months old, I had a cyst. My pediatrician saw it in a picture my mother gave him. And he goes, what's that on Jan's eye? It was on this eye. And uh, she goes, what? He goes, she's got a bump on her eye. And then, of course, they pull me into the doctor's office. And I had a cyst connecting to my cornea. Oh, wow. Was going to make me blind for life. Oh, wow. And because of that one picture, that doctor saved my eyesight. And they went in and did emergency surgery and got that cyst out of my eye. Oh, wow. And yeah, so I don't mess with my eyes. I, I'm like, I wear, I wore contacts for a long, long time and I wore glasses and yeah. yeah. So I don't, yeah, I, I've worn, worn contacts since I've been 16 year old. There's yes. the Wickershire. Hey, the Billy. Billy Where have you been, Billy Joe? Wickershire. Yeah. How are you, Billy Joe? Yeah. Hey, Hi, Susan. Susan. Yeah, Billy Joe. I was going to go look and see if he had any new videos because if he did, I missed it. Last night I was going to go do that. And I and I got doing something else. He got talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Talking to you. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's hiding. How's your house going down there, Billy Joe? That's just. I'm so then The Wickershire Project, they. they uh, lived in i think boston last time i said somewhere and i got it wrong and um if anybody they moved to in south i know where they live not right tennessee. off Rob, what tennessee are they in tennessee well, really cough it up in tennessee wasn't it nope yeah Hello. Yes, and they went off grid they quit their jobs and went off grid and they're living their dream yeah it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, good night, Roland. Good night, Roland. Sleep tight. <laughs> well, it's been nice talking with you about all the dentures and things. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all don't, you know, if it's something you face and you have any questions, feel free to email me at simplyjanhomestead at gmail.com. Or real life with Michelle and Rob. Is it at Gmail? No, it's real life with Michelle at Gmail. At Michelle, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm an open book. And uh, mm -hmm. Michelle's just been so fantastic taking the torch up and talking about this. I, I really haven't done it. I intended to do it, but I never did. And then she just has been so fabulous. I can't top Michelle, and I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> not, that great. Just, not that great. Well, you have more to talk about because you're you're doing the the, the creams and the glues and all this, and yeah. I don't have to deal with all that. I just plop them in and call it a day. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's. Uh, it's been an amazing journey and I'm glad we've been on it together and we've been mm -hmm. able to bounce off each other and learn. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, I just so hope that you do the implants. I, I just I'm know. I'm probably going to go that route. You're going to love them. You're gonna well, love them. I might do the bottom first and then wait a year and then do the top. And that's oh. fine. Yeah. I, I might do that, or I might just do it back to back December, January, you know. Well, I just want to tell you when they put the posts in, like I must have had uh, 20, 30 shots in the roof of my mouth and the bottom because mm -hmm. they have to numb it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first surgery, I was knocked out. And the second surgery, I, like I, I used to have this like terrific fear of shots in my mouth because I had a very torturous dentist when I was young. Oh. So I was traumatized beyond belief. Yeah. And I had one dentist that walked me through that and he, he took yeah, yeah, that yeah. fear away from me. But anyway, when my doctor was giving me all these shots, I'm like, he goes, okay, one more pinch. Okay, one more. I bet he said it. It seemed like a thousand times, but it yeah. wasn't. And he numb my mouth and they have to, you know, they have to 
drill in there. Right. I, I, I make that sound really bad, but they're not, they're, they're putting the post in. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happened, let me back up. What happens is when you, when you, they know they're going to do this surgery, they already in bed when you're knocked out, they already had the post drilled into my jaw. Right. Okay. Then they put you to okay. sleep for that. Right. That was sleep. I was asleep okay. That's when they did my tooth extraction, everything. And then they put that in my gum that gave me almost a year to heal. Then when they go in, they have the x-rays and they spot where that post is in your jaw. And they're, that's why they have to numb you because they have to go in there and they have to uh, cut through the gum to put the post that titanium post okay in. all right so, okay so the post is already in there and they need to get it's into in, the post and then they're gonna screw that post in so that's why all the shots so okay. they can numb you but they're all your your surface work is already done it's already in there it's already healed it's ready to go and now they're just gonna put the post in there so that's what he did. And then they take more x-rays and they make sure everything is lined up perfectly. And then you sit there with those for a couple more months. Yeah, you uh, had just a few months after that. Yeah, when they put your new plate in, your, your, your plate in, they give you the soft liner again but when you put that in it implants into those posts so now you know those yeah. dentures sit on those posts that's where that hole's gonna go that's where everything's gonna happen that's your final stage and uh, it was i you know i kept thinking oh am i gonna get it am i gonna get it am I, you know six months into it? and they're like oh no honey you got a little while longer you know and i'm like oh god <laughs> i know but, yeah. my mom it took forever you it, know because they want to get it right yeah but thank god that they were so ocd on it because that's my mouth and right. i you know it was going to cost them money. I already paid, you know, so it was going to cost them money. But yeah, uh, yeah. if I would highly recommend, in my opinion, because this is all I know now, I've had partials, which were epic failure. And um, I, I would tell you, if you're going to do something as drastic as this, either go for it like I did or do what Michelle's doing and do it by stage. And, you know, worst case, Michelle, they don't work for you. They don't feel good to you, which mm -hmm. I know they will. Uh, they can take that out. It's an easy situation. It's easier right. to take it out. So, uh, but I, I think you'll be very, very happy having. I think I will too, because right. I know the, that the glues are starting to just irritate me. Yeah. I can already, I could, you know, cause it's like they're, my gums don't throb, but it's like they kind of do. Well, you it's a chemical. I mean? Yeah. It's a chemical, foreign chemical yeah. you're putting into your body. And with your health issues, it's something you certainly don't need to add to it. So, yeah, I, I, right. you know, Y'all don't know behind the scenes. I'm like, no, do, do it, Michelle. Do it, do it. Just, just, do it. just go get it. Back. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, do it. I may, and it's just gonna, mine's going to be in stages. Which and that's, I, that's smart. Yeah. I like that. So I'll have more healing time, and you know, it's I don't want to have to. It's it, this is expensive. You know, it is expensive to get all this done, and yeah. It's not cheap. No. But but it's worth it. If you you weigh it out health-wise and it's 
Yeah, cheap. it's worth it. <laughs> it's I mean, in it. the long run, it's cheap. It, it yeah. pays for itself. Either you're going to go to the doctor and load yourself up with medicines and crap that they're going to throw at you to try to figure out what's going on, yeah. or you're going to resolve the issue and, and yeah. get a set uh, solution. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's oh, see. I think wanna, partials are bad. Say. I don't think partials are bad. I think Jan might have just had a bad experience. I had a partial here, and um, it was horrific. Oh, it really? Was, and it was a good. I paid like fifteen hundred dollars for a partial I threw in the trash. Was yeah. that the same as a bridge? No. No, it's what what it does is it clips on to your one My of your. My mom has that. I yeah. Think. Uh, it was awful. Okay. It was just terrible. And uh, yeah, you'll hate it. You will hate mm -hmm. it. I, I mean, I can only tell you what I know. I hated it. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work. And uh, yeah, I just, I think some partials, like depending where they are, might be okay. I have a good friend that has a partial and he struggles with it all the time. Constantly. So, and, and it's stages. The, so, the, you had the partial, then the, I, my mom did the stages, and, you know, the partial, and then you just move on to the inevitable, which is getting everything pulled. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I thought that the, you know, the partial would help because I was chewing on the front of my teeth, and yeah. my dentist is like, oh, let's just do a partial. Well, what happened is he never got it lined up right. And then he, he ground, grinded it down too much. And it, it was awful. It was awful. And he goes, well, why didn't you bring it back? And I said, well, it wasn't about it being ground down too much. It was about that it just sucked. Yeah. And that's the best way I can describe it. It, it just was terrible. It was an awful, uh, it, it wasn't a fit for me. It, I'll tell you that. Let's just put it that way. It was just not a fit for me, but it was $1,500 and they screwed up. Yeah. Well, I had a bridge that was a thousand dollars for this, for the bridge that I have. Plus, you know, when you have bad teeth and you're going through this, dental insurance is normally cap at $1,200 maybe 1500 if you're lucky so that's one procedure at the dentist maybe you know yeah. what you pay for when you're going through all this that's yes. another thing dental insurances they should cover more than just 1200 dollars a year you know yeah, yeah. well i had ours covered 12 and then i had to pay the difference mm -hmm. and so out of pocket i paid close to a thousand dollars and mm -hmm. and uh you know i kept going back i was like this isn't right it's right, yeah. good you know yeah it, it was a dentist i mean mm -hmm. it wasn't like it, it's so important y'all go to a specialist go to someone who knows what they're doing this is what they do for a living don't just go to your local uh dentist who does yeah. cavities and you know teeth cleaning that's not the guy you want you you right. want a specialist hi sherry uh hi, sherry. she saw a woman go to mexico and got a full mouth of veneers for twenty five hundred dollars yeah i think i watched that lady yeah yeah and and she was fabulous. I mean, she had her first bad night and then woke up in the morning and she was fantastic. So, wow. uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. And I could have gone to Mexico and I could have had this done for probably about 3,000. I could have had full denture, dental implants, not denture, dental implants for $3,000. But I didn't have three thousand dollars, right? You know, and I'm not going to Mexico to get it done. So, right, uh, you know. Can you even yeah. cross the border now? I know. Well, well I it's hard I to. Know. It's yeah. 
Yeah. I think Mexico you can, but you might still need the thingy. I don't know. I don't know. We yeah. looked into going to Canada and it's like we have to there's there's so many regulations to cross the border to go to Canada now. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And expensive. Very, very. You know. I told you about my sister in law coming for my brother in law's funeral and <sighs> It was crazy the things she had to go through. Right, right. So, well, thank you, Jan. Well, thank you, Michelle. It's been a pleasure, and I hope you all gleaned something from our conversation. Yeah. And and uh, I guess if I leave anything here, I want to say: remember, you're beautifully and wonderfully made by the hands of God, yeah. and you know, it just. We don't care about your smile, y'all. I mean, we care about your health, yeah. but most importantly, we love you for who you are, whether you have a million dollar smile or not. It doesn't really matter to us. Yeah. We love you. We love you so much. And I'm going to leave your information in the description. So go check out her channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm she's fun she's a sweet lady and she's got something brewing over there that's just funny <laughs> she's <Sure> funny <laughs> sure <enough>. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah well i i yeah i have a twin sister her name's Luce fawcett i just want to she looks yeah. just like me she and does. i just met her last year and she's hysterical she's crazy yeah she, She's fun. She's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan. Thank you. And thank you, Michelle, for more. having me on. I've had such a great time, and I, I'm glad that we could share and open up about our Granny Mouse. Our Granny Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We will see everybody in. In, in our next videos to come. Yeah. Email us if you have questions. Check Jan out. And we will see you later. Yep. yep. All right. Bye, everybody. Love y'all. Bye. bye now. Bye. bye Thanks now. for watching, yep. everybody. Michelle, say bye now. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs> bye now. Yeah. Bye. Right. Bye. Love you. Love you.